Thank you to Paris Roan for sponsoring this video. I just got a big TV, but if I wanted a really big TV and I didn't want to break the bank, take a look at something like this. So before I get in telling you about the Paris Roan, we've been doing this for a while, it's awesome. It's probably my favorite thing that I do on the channel now. Giveaway time, chance to thank you guys for being awesome, for years of support, for comments, um, just for, for helping all of us here at JFL. $500 giveaway open to anyone in the world. We'll send you a, a gift card of your choice. All you have to do, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would do with the Paris Roan laser projector. And in that comment, leave your social handle in giant letters so I can see it and contact you when you win. And give the video a thumbs up too. We'd certainly uh, appreciate it. All the information though will be in the description. So this is the Paris Roan Laser UST projector. But if you walk into Best Buy, go to Amazon, projectors these days are a dime a dozen. But getting one that has great image quality is not as easy uh, as it might sound. Uh, but here you get some of the best specs you can find on a projector, uh, but it's also built into a short throw form factor. And even with the short throw distance, you can get a ginormous display out of it. It ranges from 80 inches to 150. So assuming you've got a big enough wall, it'll fit into most rooms. And because of the short throw, you can treat it really much more like a TV than a projector. You don't need to bolt it on the ceiling, turn it upside down, do any of that kind of stuff. It just sits on your TV stand. And even though we have a dedicated screen here, which is, I think, preferred, as long as you've got like a clean white wall, it should still look great. So what specs you're getting with this? So this is an ALP DLP projector with a 4K UHD resolution image and 2000 lumens of brightness. Plus it's a laser light source. So you get 25,000 hours of lamp life, which I did some math for you so you don't have to. If you watch four hours a day, that would be over 15 years before this goes bad. That's plenty of time. It used to be one of the big knocks on laser projectors was that those lamps would go. Not a concern anymore. And on top of all that, it's got a 3,000 to 1 contrast ratio uh, and HDR10 support. All those specs, I think, sound great. Uh, but it translates to a really nice looking image, or at least it should. And you can see what the image looks like here. Now, it's always hard to look at an image captured with the camera being watched on your display. A lot of limiting factors for how things can look. But for somebody who stared at a lot of screens and a lot of displays, this looks really good. Uh, it's bright enough for regular bright rooms. It looks great in dark rooms. Uh, and it's going to do everything that you'd expect a regular TV to do just without having to actually mount the sucker up on the wall. Uh, one thing I did want to test with this though was gaming. I'm somebody who steps away from gaming for a while and then comes back to it. And I'm in my phase of coming back to it. Gaming looks absolutely incredible on here, but I would probably focus more on the casual game as there are some latency that sort of the more hardcore gamers uh, might find tough, generally speaking. So this isn't a gaming monitor by any means, but it does mean that gaming is possible and can actually be pretty enjoyable. So for those of you that game, this might be a suitable TV replacement option for you. You know, plug in your PS5 or Xbox and at least have the option of gaming on a giant screen. So yeah, the image is pretty awesome, but as I mentioned before, selling point for me is the fact that it's a short throw projector all encased in this relatively small package. Everything you need is built in. So these lasers that come out of this thing are bright. You don't want to accidentally scald your eyes forever. Uh, the projector actually has two built-in intelligent PIR motion sensors. So as it detects you get close, it's going to dim it to, you know, keep your eyes safe. So when you set this thing up, uh, of course, you're going to need to make sure the image is aligned properly. They actually build a few tools that are built in to do that. Uh, first is autofocus. So whenever you have it placed in front of the wall, the image will be sharp. There's also eight points of keystone correction. So even if the projector is tilted slightly, you can dial in the image to get it perfect. That makes a huge difference. To actually show content, you've got a few options. So first you got the inputs, so you can just plug in whatever you want. On the back, there are two HDMI ports, one USB port, audio out, AV in, and even a LAN port. But aside from those, it's also powered by Paris Roan OS and Android TV. So right out of the box, you have all the software needed to watch content, and because it's using Android TV, 
It'll work with all your services and all your apps that you want. It also has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built in for streaming. So it's about as close to plug and play for a short throw projector as you could possibly have. So the projector enables MEMC. So what that's gonna do is generally just give you smoother movements. So whether you're watching a movie or deciding to play a game, or for me, watching sports, um, you can watch it on this big screen without any judder. And it's all in one, so I think the next question is going to be sound. I'm sure the image is good, but without great sound, you're missing kind of half the experience. Uh, this has 50 watt dual speakers built in right up front. And it looks like a sound bar, and that's pretty much uh, what it is. And it sounds pretty solid. The sound is rich, the bass is where bass should be, the mids are where mids should be. This is definitely not like a replacement for a complete surround sound system at all. It's probably not a replacement for a, a good sound bar, but if you do want to use this out of the box and just have it work and hear decent audio, uh, they've got you covered. So listen, there are a lot of projectors that are out there and trying to pick the right one uh, is tough. For me, if I was in the market for projector, short throw would be the first thing that I would look for. I don't want to mount a projector on my ceiling. I don't have stands where I can put these things back far away. My keys are going to knock it over. I want this as out of the way as possible. And Paris Roan did a really nice job in delivering that. It is about as close to plug and play as a projector can be. You get great image quality, you get variable size, relatively easy to set up. You've got variable inputs to plug in whatever you would like. Uh, and you can use it if you choose to for gaming. So for me, it's checking off all the boxes for projectors. And if it's checking off any boxes for you, put a link to it down below.